hey y'all hey welcome back to my channel so i hope you guys are enjoying these notary documents let's get into it i'm going to be discussing character reference letters for immigration purposes now there are going to be several different reasons why a person might need these letters but most likely it's just immigration so they could either be trying to stay in the country, come to the country, or not get deported. So there's a lot of different reasons why. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and give you some pointers on what should be in these letters. No, you as the notary are not going to write the letter. Now, when a person comes to you and they tell you, listen, I need to do these, these letters. I don't know what to do. And I'm telling you this because this has happened to me and I had no idea what to tell them. So I had to go on my Google search and figure out because I'm not going to tell them I can't do anything. So always remember that when a person asks you, you tell them you can and let you give them a call back and you go figure it out and you call them back. Don't leave any money on the table. OK, so I am going to give you some pointers, tell you what should be in the letter. And then I'll scroll up. To, I have three different, well, really four examples of what a letter should look like. And you can go ahead and screenshot it on your computer or on your phone and save it and print it out so that when a person calls you and they need assistance, you already have these things in your possession. So you can go ahead and give them ideas, suggestions. OK, so let's go ahead and get into it. Now, this form right here is the first one. This is just a basic support of immigration. This form itself is on e-forms. I don't know if you guys remember, but I told you I get a lot of my blank documents from e-forms. That's eform, E-F-O-R-M dot com. That's where power of attorney, wills, living trust, like a lot of different documents, leasing documents, like. A lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them are on there and you can just print them out. And even if you don't print them out, you can email it to that person. So if they wanted to print it out, fill it out and then sign it when you get there, there you go. So this one right here, you see, I actually went on ahead and put in the information. So when you go to to save it, when you go to print it out, it'll give you the option to put these things in. So I just filled it out, which is a lot neater than actually me writing it. So I'm going to go in close so you can see this. So you see you got the date. The person who's going to be writing this letter, who's basically saying that this person is a great person, name is going to go there. And so ultimately, the purpose of these letters is basically on behalf of the person. Just basically saying that they're trustworthy they're hardworking, they have good morals, and just a great person, and what a value person they is to the community. And that's why they should not be deported, or they should be allowed to stay, they should be allowed to get citizenship, whatever the case may be. So that person's name is going to go here. And the person that the letter is all about, their name is going to go here, you're going to put here how many years that person has known them and in what capacity is this a friend, a cousin? So, yes, this here can be from a, this one right here, the support of immigration. This one would be a great one for like a friend. Because ultimately, that's nice, but it's going to hold more weight if it's uh, another person that's not related to them in the community. So we'll get more into that in a second. But you'll go ahead and fill out their information. So they're going to fill all of this out, not you, them. So the person who is actually saying that, oh, yeah, this person is trustworthy. That person's name is going to go here, their date of birth. So basically, if somebody wants to say, I want to look this person up to make sure they are real citizens here, that's where the information is going to be. So the date of birth. The, the country of residency, their address, email address, whatever they have on that. You're going to put they're going to put that there. 
And then the person who's writing this letter, not the person who it's about, the person who is signing this letter right here, that is who you need to see their identification. Well, you need to see the other persons, but this person is actually signing. So you need to see their identification to make sure that this is all true information. And the day that this form is being completed is going to go here. You'll come up here and then this will be your notarial stamp right here. Your acknowledgement stamp. So if you have a giraffe stamp, that would go there. Or if you have an acknowledgement stamp, whatever it is, this, these forms don't have notarial language on them. So you as the notary have to put them there. Now, if by any chance you don't have an acknowledgement or a giraffe stamp, which by now you should Amazon have them for less than $20. So come on. Once you go ahead and put that there, then you would just need to put your regular uh, notary stamp here. If you don't have this stamp, you need to attach a loose leaf certificate. So it's basically these words, but on a piece of paper by itself. And so you would have to just attach to it and possibly staple it, put it together. But all the regular information will go here. State, county, the day that this transaction is uh, taking place, your signature as the notary, your commission ex expiration date, and then your actual notary stamp will go here. So this is just basically for this form itself, right? And that could be for a family member, right? I'm going to go ahead and show you three other examples of immigration letters that you can screenshot and save for yourself to get an idea as to what to explain to the person what the judge or the immigration department or whatever what they're looking for okay and while i have it on the screen i'll just talk to you a little bit so that gives you another chance to go ahead and look at it screenshot it save it so basically the purpose of this is to show that this person is a good person. What they need to do is find an honest person in a community. And when I say an honest person, I mean like people at the church or maybe their doctor, their psychiatrist, their um, supervisor at work. Somebody that is already a citizen, already has strong ties to the community. And their word would hold a lot more weight than just a neighbor or a friend. OK. And like I said before, the, the purpose of the letter is basically just to show that they have good morals and ethics and that with citizenship, they would be even more valued in the community. So ultimately, it's trying to say all of that. And basically at somewhere in this letter. It needs to talk about how if this person is removed from the community, what the term oil would be. So how it would affect everyone in a negative way, just to kind of paint the picture to let them know that they're needed in the community. OK, so that was the first one. Let's go ahead and go to the second one. And so just to tell you, this one here is from the doctor. And then here we are at the second one. And then so and so, what I want to let you know is within the letters, the introduction, it needs to have the person, the writer, their, their name, age, their profession, the relationship to the actual person, the requester, their citizenship status, basically to show that they're already citizens, the length of time that they've known this person. And basically, the introduction is saying all of that, and it's kind of the starting point of pleading the case for why this person needs to be able to stay in the community or not be deported. But the place where you're going to really like lay it on thick is going to be in the, in the main body. But the introduction is basically you can start it. OK, but you need to pretty much put that information in the introduction. And then once you get to the body of it. That's basically the meat of the letter. That's where you're going to go and state why 
it's important for this person to stay here and how they're so important for the community and the, the positive character traits and awesome work ethic and whatever examples that this person has as to why this person should be allowed to stay here. And then this is the next letter right here. And this is the last letter I have. And it's just an ex another example of basically what type of what the letter should look like. It's not it's definitely not word for word, but it's just an idea. So having some examples is better than having none at all. And so when they ask you, you can give them examples and let them know kind of what it is that they're looking for. So you can't write these letters. They would have to. And even if you took your screenshot and sent it to them to let them know exactly the person that's writing it, kind of give them an idea as to what they're looking for. What in the in the, the beginning, the middle, the end, you can do that. You yourself can't write this letter, though. OK, and so basically the end of the letter is going to be like the conclusion of it. Over, um, and it's going to be basically heartfelt. Once again, complimenting a person and just making them seem like a great person. And it honestly, they need to find people that really feel that way because you can tell in the letters that will be written. So just let them know that. And each of these letters need to be notarized. Now, it kind of seals the deal for them to be notarized because it makes it more legal and more trustworthy and so ultimately what i'll say is because it's going to be three or four different people i when i did this i had everyone that was going to bring these letters to meet me at the starbucks we met there at a certain time on a certain day and everybody brought their letters and i notarized everybody's things just like that because this person they're going to sign it and they need to sign it in front of you and you need to verify it by looking at their driver's license or whatever it is, their passport, immigration um, picture, whatever it is. So you need them in front of you. They can't write this letter, sign this letter, and the person brings it to you. That is not how it works. You still need them in front of you to sign this. And once again, you will go ahead and put your stamp here, your notarial stamp here and your acknowledgement or your giraffe stamp here and once again it'll just be the normal information the state the county the date your signature and your commission expiration date and pretty much that's kind of it that's all all four of my examples and once again for the first one which is um that one's going to be on eforms so e f o r m s dot com you can go there and get that document and other documents. But these are just examples of the letters so that a person, when they ask you, because when they call the notary, they are expecting you to be the professional for you to know the things that they don't. So no, you're not an attorney and you're not acting as an attorney. You're not putting these letters together for them. They are basically just, these are examples that they can give to their friends or family because if they say hey i need you to write a letter and they're like okay so what kind of letter what should the letter say so if they can show them this and they can kind of get an example as to oh okay so that type of letter and they can come up with their own information to write a letter okay and pretty much that's it that is the end of the video i just basically want to let you know exactly what to expect so if a person calls and asks you this because i've done these documents a couple of times for different individuals but i just want to let you know exactly so you will not be in the dark when they ask you this and you're like uh i don't know so remember don't say you don't know if you don't know look it up and call them back okay all righty you guys have a good rest of your day Thank you for coming by the channel and just look out for more documents. I'm trying to do all the documents that I'm thinking of that I know I get a lot of calls for. So when you get that call, you'll be ready. Take care. Oh my, oh my. My man. Hey, you made a
a permanent home in my 